Hey everyone, this will be my first video tutorial over Java and we'll be going over basic the basic syntax of this language. Make sure you have your JDK installed into your computer and configured to your CMD. If not then stop this video and watch this video right here before continue with this tutorial right now. Alright, if you get if you got everything installed and if you're using Notepad Plus Plus, make sure your language is set on Java. Then we're ready to code. Our first syntax to start our program is public class. Let's name our uh main project project tutorial. You can name it any anything that you want. You can name it strawberries, bananas, chocolate, anything basically. And if you take this public off, it'll still be it'll, it'll still be public because it's set on default to be public if you haven't typed anything before class. If you don't want anything public, then type in private. But you won't be able to see your output and everything from your program, so I recommend you for yeah I recommend y'all to stay on public for now until we get further into experiencing with the Java language All right, once you get that done then type in the curly braces brace and then tab uh, we need to make a main function because every computer needs to have a or a, every Java program needs to have a main function so a computer can read your program. Alright, another in order to do that is with this syntax that I'm about to type is public static void main and type in the string square brackets and ARGS. It doesn't matter where you have your square bracket you can have it either here or here. I tried two locations and I still get the same results after running this program. Or running overall Java program, with the main method with the different locations of the brackets. So it really doesn't matter from my experience. Alright, once you get done with the main function or method then type in the uh, other brace then tab over and then let's type in system we want the computer to do something so we want the computer to output something but output a what we want the computer to output the print line on in this following parentheses and we, we and yeah and I'm gonna type hello hello you and then close off the quotation and with the parentheses and the semicolon. So basically, overall, we want the computer to output the print line in this parentheses in the quotations. Once we run this program and get everything compiled and everything, then we'll see hello you. You'll see after we get done with this program. All right, make sure you close off this method with the brace curly brace and then close the whole overall project with the brace and now we're done now we're gonna save this file and we're gonna save it under Java and a file that I created in my documents I'll name it as tutorial since this is tutorial over here it'll be easier if we just type in tutorial so our compiling experience will be so much easier. Save this. All right, then we're ready to try to run this. All right, I'll show you where I saved this exactly. Documents, computer language, and Java and tutorial. But since we need CMD to run this, then we'll use CMD. Alright, we have our CMD here. 
if you haven't used CMD before, then I'll teach you some met. Uh, yeah, I'll see. I'll teach you some uh, function of this CMD. So you type in CD and then backward slash. Press enter. You start from the way beginning. And if you want to see your directory, then you'll see the directory for the whole system, the whole computer. All right, now we want to run this program or compile it. So, let's type in user. Or oh yeah, first of all, you need to type in CD, and now you type in users. Make sure you have a space between CD and users, and then let's have a back uh, yeah backward slash, and then the user of this computer is me. All right, you're there. Again, so you don't have to type in CD backslash when you start CMD, because then you have to start all over again by typing on this, and that will be wasting your time. So make sure you don't type this first time, or the second time that you want to run your program quickly. All right, now let's do CD again. Let's go to Documents. Backward slash computer language. Again, this is ba this is based on where you save your uh, project at. If you save at a different location, then go to your file and look for it, and then look at this right here. All right, so basically, you type in directory so you can see where you're going. So you can look where your file is at. And right now it's telling me it's in this file and in this file also. So just type in computer computer language. And then backward slash and then type in Java. This is where I saved my program at. Alright, we there. Let's type in DRI to see what's in this file. Uh, we see tutorial.java. Now let's compile that by typing Java C and file name of the program you just made. And then Java. Make sure you have this syntax or this kind of layout over here. Now you press enter. Alright, it's no error. Alright, that's good. As you can see, it made it class. Now we we can run this. Now let's type in Java and then tutorial. You don't have to type in dot Java this time. Now you can press enter. Now you can see hello you for the output that we want the computer to do, which it did a great job. Alright, well now this concludes my first video tutorial over Java. And my next tutorial it will be over variables. Alright, thanks for watching this.